Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric Shoji, professional volleyball player and libero for Team USA. I'm here to react to and analyze different volleyball matches from around the world in hopes of inspiring, educating, and hopefully having a little bit of fun with volleyball nerds around the world just like me. So if you love volleyball just as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos every week. All right, guys, we are going to switch it up just a little bit. We are not going to watch a Team USA national team match. We are actually going to watch a professional club match featuring my team, <laughs> Fako Novi Udengoy against Skra Belkatov from the 2018 FIBB Club World Championships. I will link the teams below so you can kind of check them out and see who's on their team. Now, this was a huge game because if we won the match, we advanced out of pool play into the semifinals of the competition. And if we lost the game, we were going home. Again, another elimination match. Also, we were down 2-0, two games to none, and 18 to 11, and somehow managed to come back and force a fifth. I don't even remember how. It was pretty crazy. And we are gonna watch the fifth set now, which I have never watched in its entirety. So I'm excited to watch and react and to analyze this with you guys. So let's go. All right, let's go. I love this announcer. He makes everything so intense. He's also a really nice guy. Kliuka serving. Great serve, got him out of system. Nice high ball set. The body poor from Iran. Such a good player. Try to pump up the crowd. You can see here he just goes high hands. Right at the top of the block. Out of bounds, no chance of getting it. Great shot. Okay, decent pass. Is that the same shot? Oh, showed you points in. That's like a thing, like you point in if you if you know it's in. Let's see what he does. Goes for the high hands again. Look at that deep corner, like two feet from the from the corner. That's impossible to get. <clears throat> Another high hand shot by Artur Udris. He's Belarusian. He's probably close to seven feet as well. You can just bang high hands. One serving two. Sorry, I shouldn't react like that. The body poor serving. He has really good range on his serve, so you can't really move or make a tendency. Good fight off. Nice attack by Dima Volkov. So when there's a server with a lot of range, you can't really move one way or the other. You kind of got to stay neutral and make sure that you just get a good read on the ball because you're not making a move into a tendency. You got to stay still and then see ball and react to ball. So I think that's what I did on that pass. His celebrations are crazy. Like I'm a crazy celebrator, but he's one of the top ones. Took something off of it. Great read by Volkov on that pat, on that block. Let's watch that one again. So you can see, Dima is Volkov number fifteen is all the way in the middle of the court helping out with the middle. I don't know what the call there was, but he did a great job of helping and touching that block. Let's see how I. I probably could have got that pass a little bit tighter, but. Eight feet off the net is better than over the net, obviously. Two service errors. Another service error. I mean, you'll take it, right? But it's frustrating to see. <clears throat> All right, Volkov serving. Let's see if he goes with his float or if he rips his jump serve. He ripped it out. 
Three points out of five. Not ideal. All right, Blasley serving. I hope I'm saying that right. These Polish names are pretty tough. He has a nasty serve. Again, you can't really take a step one way or the other because you don't know where it's going. See, I, I made a decent pass there, but I just had to fight it off because it was so strong. Oh, Kaliuka got blocked by Schultzbrook. Oh, see, so he tried to roll it off the block, but he didn't quite get it enough on the outside of the hand to tool the block. So, pretty good move by the blocker there. I love this announcer. What a serve. Oh, a dig down the line. What do you know? Oh, he got blocked again. That's tough. Set coming off the net. Triple block. He almost snuck it through, but blockers did a decent job there. I don't know if I got a dig down the line. <laughs> All right, time out. I don't remember what we were talking about. There's a pretty big chance I wasn't paying attention anyway. Don't do that. 7-4, Blasley serving again. Oh. That's the worst. It happens every once in a while. <laughs> you just can't get out of the way. Let's see it. It's like a floater jump serve, probably at 70 miles an hour coming at you. Volkov tries to get out of the way, but to no avail. Eight to four. Oh my gosh. We are losing eight to four. I don't remember this at all, you guys. Oh. That's one of those where you're just like, thank you, thank you. All right, Vanya serving. He has a, probably one of the best float serves in the world right now, in my opinion. You like it when it's on your team and you hate it when you're playing against it. Ace. Yeah. He did a lot, he did that a lot this year. Like we were, we would be losing or it'd be a close match. He would go back to serve, and not like absolutely rip it, but put a good flow. Like you could see that serve had no spin on it, and it would just become an ace or force a bad pass, which is awesome. Another bad pass. Well, match. He's a really good setter, and he's small. But setters are always the best jousters. I'm not sure why, but he beat two of our players on that. And celebrates like he beat two players on it. <laughs> Dang it, we got them out of system again. Shawl Pook. So he has an interesting serve. I'm gonna stop there because he has that toss where he can hit a float or he can hit a jump. So as a passer, you have to be neutral. You can't step up, really. You can't step too far back. You have to be in a position ready for both serves, and that was tough for our team because my outside hitters love to step up to the three meter line and take floats with their hands. But in this match, we kind of had to adjust and have them move back because he could rip that jump and it was hard to take with his with their hands. So we made that adjustment. Luckily, he missed this ball, but we got better and better as the match rolled on. I remember we started and it was terrible, but we adjusted, got better and moved forward. Seven, nine. Another out of system. Great cover. They got the hard cover and the easy, the easier one. They didn't get great. That libero busted his butt to get back to get back there and make that cover. That was awesome. Watch this. Our, that was not a great block by us. Look at that. 
That was awesome. I don't can rarely dive like that. Then we got that ball. Alright, Kolodinsky serving. Out of system again. Oh. Um, let's see. Power tip. I tried to read it. You could see that I was up there. I just didn't make the best move. But if you ever see a hitter extend his arm or her arm, they're probably, probably going to tip it. So you can kind of creep forward or just be ready on your toes a little bit more. More than I was. Good float serve coming. Good pass. I stuck with it off the net. And Artur on the left. We set him pretty high because he's tall. He did pretty dang well this year of hitting high balls and like hitting them high and getting a lot of kills. Out of system again. High hands again. How many times can you do that in this set? Let's see this. Let's see this. See, once again, off the hands. High hitters, take note. That's not luck. That is a skill that he has practiced, obviously, a lot. And he's one of the best in the world at doing that. See, see what I mean about our, um, our float serve reception formation? Volkov is standing at the 10 foot line, 11 foot line, ready for a float. That's why against Salpuk, he had to move back because he could kind of rip his serve. Great pass. Great play by us. We rarely set that middle, but when we did, we usually got him in good situations. Our setters got him in good situations and he put the ball away. 10-11. In system. Great up, Igor. A pipe. High hand, oh, the stare down. He's on fire this set, like he deserves to do that. High hands again. Look at that block. We're prob that that net is eight feet. Our blockers are probably at I don't know 10, 11 feet there, and he's hitting high off the hands in a position where we can't get it. That's a great shot. Now he's serving. He'll let's see what he does here. Pass. Let's watch that pass again. You can see that the ball hit the net, but he stays with it. See, his body actually was moving backwards, but his platform and his shoulders stayed forward despite it hitting the net. And that's what made the ball go towards the net instead of lifting up. Oh wow, we're double subbing. Bogdan number 10 in for Kolodinsky in the front row. Bogdan is not an opposite, but he's gonna play opposite. He's actually an outside and a very good one. We'll see how he does here. Misconnection on the pipe. That's the body port. I don't know what he's looking at. The body port's first error this set. Oh, because Bogdan said something. Bogdan doesn't realize that the body port is killing us this set. Anyway, we were fortunate for that misconnection. I don't remember this, you guys. I don't remember what I was thinking or what we were talking about. <clears throat> Out of system. High ball. Lawsley high hands. I don't know if, if they're just making, <clears throat> excuse me, perfect shots or we're not pressing over enough, but their high hand shots are on fire right now. We can't do anything to stop it. All right, Kochanowski. I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's a really good jump serve. Normally he serves towards the middle. But I can't remember, and I can't remember what we usually do on him for the national team. 
but another service error. Volkov went with the jump again. Nice pass by them. Oh, uh, the block was very, very close. Exactly. So close. Ugh. We just needed to press over a little bit more. What are we challenging? Oh, in or out. It was definitely out. I think this was more like a, a timeout challenge, just in hopes of slowing the next server down, but we definitely knew it was out. Oh, Vosley serving, match point. He already had a run of like four points earlier, so our coach decided to call a timeout to hope, in hopes of slowing him down. All right, not an ace. Great high hands by Kluka there. What a shot. See, in that situation, under this kind of pressure and stress, that's a great pass because he's probably not gonna make it perfect. Like that's a pretty hard serve, but he fights it off, gets it to the three or four meter line. We get a high ball out of it and we get the point. All right, we have our own good server here now. I don't, let's see what happens. Nice serve, out of system again. Great block, great cover. Nice. <laughs> Genia. Is that in? Wait, I need to watch that again. Great up down the line. Yegor sets Dima on the pipe. Dima rips it. Was this in or out? Oh my gosh, it was out. Please show a replay. He went for it, like that's what you like to see. At least he was aggressive. Oh, we're challenging again. Even though we knew it was out. That was pretty far out, but kind of a sick hit. Match point again. There was a lot of Polish fans there because it was in Poland, pretty close to their home city. Oh, he ripped it. Great pass, Dima. Kaluka. Oh. <laughs> that was so close, you guys. But Volkov followed it, which is like the main thing. But, oof. Two blockers. Inside hand. Oh, pretty far out. Again, but it was high hands. Where was I covering? Nowhere, probably. All right, double sub again, Kolodinsky serving. 15 all, guys. <laughs> it's unbearable. Oh, out, what happened? I don't know what happened. I'm gonna watch it again. So we serve. Line judge calls a touch, but ball was out. Nobody knows what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're challenging. I think I remember the ball being out, but they called a touch. So what are, no, no. Oh, ball was definitely out. Okay, that, that was their challenge. Now it's our match point. Oh, this announcer is the best. Oh, he told it. Oh, I guess tools are pretty normal, but that's like the seventh one he's done this set. Out of 16 points. 16 all. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but he actually switched zones. He was serving from five, six before, but that serve he switched to one because we were in rotation one and he was trying to serve Kliuka cross court, which he did pretty successfully. But let's just watch that again. Kliuka makes a pretty nice pass here. Serving from one to one, great pass. High ball up to Udris, tools the block. That's how this match went, kind of after 
18, 11 in the third, like it just started rolling our way, we started getting more comfortable, and plays like that were happening for us. 17, 16. I wonder what he's saying to himself. It's like one of those things, do I rip it and try to get an ace on match point or do I keep it in because we've been missing a bunch? What's happening? Oh, he ripped it. Oh, <laughs> just out. Knowing Kluka though, he was gonna rip that. All right, float serve coming. All right, so that's an interesting technique, Eric. Um, <laughs> float serve coming. The thing people always say is like, don't lift up when you pass. But I lift up a lot right there, you can see. But it's a little bit after my contact and my shoulders kind of stay forward, which is why I was able to push that to the net. Wow. What a set and hit. Let's watch that again. Nice pass. Good, set. Good cover by Kluka. Not Kluka. Great set by Kluka. Great swing by Volkov. Uh, that was a great play at 17 all. Pretty risky back set by Kluka, but he does that a lot and he practices that a lot, which is how he feels comfortable to do that in the match. Match point. Thanks. Rips it. That's a great volleyball play. Standard. Great pass set hit. Middle gets a one-on-one. -on -one, hits it straight down. He's so quick. 18 all. Oh. The, the call was out. Oh, they're challenging again. Mm, out. Whew. Hawkeye, you win some and you lose some, so you never really know. 1918. Uh, 19 all. Good server. They're all good servers. I don't know why I keep saying that. There's an unbelievably high amount of like block out tools, high hand shots. Like, I don't know if that's normal. Maybe I just don't notice it, but like high off the block, going right past the line and going out. There's been a bunch of those, right? All right, match point, 2019, fifth set. Oh, he ripped it out of system. Not a bad set by that guy. See, ideally, you don't want your setter taking that free ball, but at 2019, in the fifth, maybe he didn't hear anyone. It was a pretty low free ball. Our setter decided to take it so we could at least get a high ball out of it. Great set. <laughs> okay. Can we watch that play again? That swing is gnarly, you guys. Kolodinsky, Volkov, pretty good high ball set. Yes, he took off from maybe the eight foot line. Rips that to the 10 foot line. The libero's in a great spot. He, I don't know why he did that. He could have made a better move on that, I think. Look how we're celebrating, like, we knew that was huge to move to the semifinals. All right, one more time, because this hit is insane. Four to four, 21-19 in the fifth, and he hits that shot. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That was probably the best play of the whole match, and it's at 20-19 in the fifth. Ooh, 
anyway, we move on to the semifinals. We end up winning bronze at the Club World Championships, which is a huge feat for our club. We were the wild card into the tournament. We were huge underdogs. But that was an unbelievable match, especially being down 18-11 in the third set and coming back to win 21-19 in the fifth. What else is there to say? All right, guys. Whew. That was a pretty intense match. I hope you enjoyed it. That is our first glimpse into professional club volleyball here in Europe. And what I'm hoping that you guys see is that there's so many different styles of volleyball around the world that are amazing to watch and amazing to learn from. So keep an eye on that. I hope that by watching so many different teams and players that we just learn about all the styles of volleyball and how you can become a better player yourself just by watching video. So I think I'm going to watch a women's match next. We'll see. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.